HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of HCAM News. I'm HCAM News Director Tom Nappy. On this edition of HCAM News, we have the latest Hiller sports highlights, including some great playoff highlights. We have scenes from the Hopkinton Veterans Day services and much more. But first, a number of Hopkinton Hillers athletes recently signed their letters of intent to play collegiate sports. Another one where I've been able to see now for two years in a row. If you watch her dive, it is just ridiculous. What she does out there, I don't know how you control your body and do all those things, but it's amazing. Uh, so Tess is going to the University of Richmond. Great, thank you. Hi, I'm Ashley Butler, and I'm playing soccer at Vassar College. Terrific, and what made you choose Vassar? Um, I really liked the coaching staff and the campus and the team atmosphere. Excellent, what are you going to be studying up there? I am undecided. <laughs> I'm Ava Perlov, and I'm going to Catholic University. Um, I really like the school, I love the atmosphere of the team, and I love being in D.C. Excellent. And uh, what are you going to be studying over there? Um, I think I'm going to do nursing. I'm John Waters. I'm playing baseball at Bentley University. Terrific. And, uh, what are you going to be studying over there? Corporate finance. Excellent. And uh, what about you want to Bentley? I chose Bentley because I thought it was a great coaching staff and it was a good business school. Uh, I'm Nick Paharic. I'm going to Assumption University to play baseball. Terrific. And uh, what made you choose Assumption? Um, I really like the school and the coach. And what are you going to be studying over there? Uh, business. I'm uh, I'm Vinny Purpura. I play baseball and I'm going to Bryant. Terrific. And uh, what made you Bryant? Uh, it's a great business school. Uh, I love the coaching staff and it's a great fit and close to home. Excellent. Uh, you know what you're hoping to do with the business degree yet? No, right now I'm business undecided, so I guess I'll figure that out. Hi, I'm Lauren Cho, and I'm playing basketball at Colby. Terrific, and what made you choose Colby? Um, I just had a really good connection with the coaches, and I really like the community up there. Excellent, and what are you going to be studying? Um, I'm not sure yet. Terrific. Well, we wish you the best of luck in the floor to see you on the basketball court. Thank you. All right, my name's Gabby Siri. I'm playing women's soccer, and I'm going to the University of Scranton. Excellent. What made you choose the University of Scranton? Well, I really liked the rigorous academics and the great soccer, and also it's a Catholic Jesuit university, and I really wanted to be a part of that. Excellent. I'll be starting, studying business and marketing. The American Legion Post 202 recently hosted their Veterans Day Ceremony, here's a look. My grandfather didn't share his story until much later in his life, but according to my uncle, everything your grandfather did was filtered through his experiences over there. Uh, this is a direct quote from, from, my, uncle, or from my grandfather's article. Um, he wrote about the battle, not to boast about my military exploits, nor to attempt to impress others with my bravery. I was totally frightened every second I was on that hill, or even as an excuse to practice my war story expertise, but to attempt to remind others of the horrors of war and to acknowledge the brave men who fought to pres preserve democracy so far from home. On the hill, there were heroes everywhere. 
I'm sure many of you have similar stories of bravery, and I imagine that the idea of service beyond the individual is something that resonates with a lot of people in this room today. It is clear that my grandfather believed in the power of the individual to contribute to the whole. It's nowhere near the same level, but I personally um, chose to pursue a career in public affairs because it gives me the opportunity to participate in the growth of my hometown and the district as a whole. Um, and I do not doubt that most service members share this desire to champion a better neighborhood, a better country, and a better world. Aside from thank yous that I hope you're showered with often. I remember about 25 years ago, a family was hosting a gathering for our baseball team. And the dad said to me that he was really envious of me because I was a teacher and a coach. I looked around at his million dollar house and realized that my wife and I were crammed into a two bedroom with two kids. And I didn't really understand why he envied me. Um, he needed to take a closer look, I thought, but I get it. I'm a regular now at Boston College hockey games and they always uh, honor veterans at every game and have a wounded warrior stand up and it's a moving time. And when I look at the men and women who stand, it's envy that I feel. Uh, I'm sure their lives are far from perfect, as many of yours, but um, they and many of you have accomplishments that I could never ever understand. So my message is obviously not going to be about courage. I teach and coach in Hopkinton. It's not exactly a resume that inspires people to greatness. But what I can offer is sincere gratitude and a promise to never take what you've done for granted. Better yet, I hope I can convey the same message of appreciation to my students who are inundated with a lot of conflicting messages today about our country and our institutions. To die for one's country is, of course, the ultimate sacrifice. But to live for your country is another kind of sacrifice. A lifelong sacrifice, as in the discipline of good citizenship. Our nation and, of course, our community has become the pinnacle of civilization, owing so much to those who have served before us. We must honor their deeds and bravery by working together to scale new heights of achievement in unity and purpose, in sacrifice for the common good, tolerance for those of different faiths and creeds, and bravery to fight for social and economic gains. Yes, these are the disciplines of good citizenship. Each generation hands over the keys of freedom to the next, apprehensive that this inherited freedom will not be taken for granted or will not be appreciated because it was not earned or will not be defended because it no longer seems important. Most, most likely, these thoughts became the inspiration to create an occasion of reflection and gratitude. As such, Americans conceived of Veterans Day as a celebration to honor our servicemen and women for their efforts in safeguarding the doctrine of independence of our nation. The original concept of Veterans Day was to promote peace, world peace, while lofty, and probably unrealistic goal still needs to be our perpetual objective. Surely the battle between good and evil has been and continues to be the eternal human conflict. Every one of us should be willing to participate in the effort to secure and maintain a peaceful world, each contributing by using their own unique God-given talents. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance.
Welcome back to HCAM News. Well, believe it or not, it is fall playoff time and a number of Hiller sports qualified. Here's a look at the latest Hopkinton Hillers highlights. Lay back, relax, and enjoy. On Tuesday, November 9th, third seeded Hillers girls volleyball had their second playoff game of the season as they hosted 14th seeded Burlington, Steve Sweetapple and Matt Clancy on the call. Still set point, Abramo serving. Sarah settles under that, Catherine outside, Gilday. Nice swing, Mel. Boom. So Hopkinson takes the first set 25 to 10. So here we are at set point, 24 to nine. Bill Day, now they go to Budo, quits set. Hardenbrook, there's a dump over, Catherine's there. Bump set, Grady, kept alive by the Red Devils. Tipped, nice save from Mel. Catherine, Hardenbrook, that's, that's it. Through. Hopkinton takes That'll the second it. set, 25 to nine. Mel floats that one in. And I think we're gonna have a free ball here. We are. KD. Sensity blocked. And that's it. That'll do it. Hit it, they hit the net. Kasparian hit the net. The Hillers take the win and advance on to the quarterfinals versus Westwood. On Wednesday, November 10th, 14-seeded Hopkinton Hillers boys soccer took on third-seeded Holliston. Hopkinton struck first several minutes into the action. Now it is Robinson. And now taken away along the far side by Golombiewski. Golombiewski flying up the sideline into the box. Sends it out. Schnorr with the shot and it's a Hillers goal. Hopkinton draws first blood and it's one to nothing. Holliston responded with a goal of their own. Out in front, wide open net, it's cleared away. And Holliston saying they have it, it looks like they're gonna give him the goal. That is going to be Marrera. And it's a one-to-one -one game. After one half of play, the game was knotted at one apiece. Into the second half, about several minutes in, and this happens. Declan Mick will take the throw in. Mick right towards the net and it's popped in! Andrew Gunn nets a goal and just about 11 minutes later, this happens. It's gonna be Farrell. Header and that's in! Ryan Shaw took care of business. Hillers would take the game and upset win over Holliston, three to one, and advance on to the final eight. Unfortunately for the Hillers, their season came to an end in West Springfield on Saturday, November 13th, as they fell three to two in the game. Hopkinton's season ends with 15 wins, six losses, and a tie. On Friday, November 12th, Hiller Girls Volleyball hosted Westwood in a quarterfinals matchup. Steve Sweetapple and Matt Clancy on the call. That's long. Hopkinson takes the first set, 25-16. McCarran, Easton, Lou. Out, Hopkinson Ooh. takes the second set. 25-17, girls are gonna switch sides. We'll resume play in about two minutes. Lou serving. Sam, oh this is going to KP. And that's it! Woo! Hopkinton moving on to the final four. Defeats Westwood three to zero, taking the third set 25 to 23. The undefeated Hillers take the win and advance to the Division II state semifinals to take on King Philip. On Tuesday, November 16th, the third-seeded Hillers 
met up with second seeded King Philip. On the line, a chance to go to the state finals. Steve Sweetapple and Matt Clancy on the call. One of the tri captains. And that's out. Wow. Washington takes the first set 25 to 18. I'm sorry. Michaela up front. Sam keeps that alive. Esperelli goes to Bailey. They go outside to James. Sam. Meg. Mel just keeps it alive. Yeah. That's it. King Philip takes the second set, 25 to 23. We got bonus volleyball tonight. Yeah, I was going to say, we got ourselves a ball game, folks. Lorenzo to serve. Still set point for the Hillers. Sam. Catherine, KP. Oh, they got to it. Sam's there. Catherine. One more time. And that's yep. it. Yep. Hopkinson oh. takes the <laughs> third set, 25 to eight. And those are gonna match point. Esprelli, Bailey, they're going to Sawyer. Greedy. Yes. 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 Hopkinson <laughs> defeats King Philip, three sets to one. What a performance by the Hillers. Not a bad night to have one of your best games of the year. It, it, it <laughs> ended the way it began with Michaela, Michaela Grady with the block. storming to the net with another group. This team is amazing. They just battle through everything. Defense, offense. It's amazing. Well-balanced, well-rounded team. So Hopkinton advances to play the winner of the Westboro Melrose game, which is going on right now. Hillers take the victory, three sets to one. They improve to 24 and 0 overall and advance on to the Division II State Championship. We caught up with Coach Grabmeyer and some of the Hillers after the game. Congratulations, how's it feel to be going to the championship this season? Uh, no words, feels great. I'm just very excited. This team deserves it. And I'm so happy to be going there with them this is my final year. And what's it been like to coach this group? It's been a joy coming into practice every single day. I mean, there's nothing better than it, getting to show up and have fun with this great group of girls. Like, every single one of them is just a joy to be around. And to uh, come in here against a tough King Philip team after they won the uh, second set, it seemed like you guys just got rolling. Uh, can you just talk about what it was like to play this tough team? Um, when they're when they're on, it's really hard to play defense. Like we we tell the girls all the time, defense wins championships. And today they um, were able to like pull it all together. All right, coach. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. It's surreal. I mean, it was always a team goal of ours, and we just played it game by game, match by match, set by set. I mean, it's a great feeling, but we're not done yet. We're ready to play on Saturday. We're ready to play hard. Absolutely. And what's it been like playing with this group all year? Um, the team chemistry is so amazing. Like, this is the best team of chemistry I think I've ever experienced. Like, we all just feel like a family, and I think that's the reason that we're winning is because we have such good team chemistry. We're all friends outside of this, and we're all able to lean each lean on each other. I mean, I'm not giving up on any on anyone on this team, and I think everyone feels the same way. We're just we're a close group, and I think it really shows by the way that we play. And how's it been now working with Coach Grabmeyer? I'm great. She like she never yells at us, which is something that like I'm really really grateful for. Like I, we see a lot of coaches where they yell at their team, but like she always has like a positive mindset. She's always very like kind to us and very supportive. So I think it's really important. Margie really believes in us, and I think it shows in the way that she coaches. I mean, we all love each other, and she knows at the end of the day, if we're down, we're going to be able to pick it back up like we did tonight. So. I think being coached by Mar like Margie's a, the biggest factor of our success. She's a great coach, she's a great lady, and I'm so thankful. All right, well, hopefully we can go out and get that last win in our final oh, year. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, how's it feel to go out there, get the win tonight, and advance to the state championship? It's, it's honestly unreal. Like, it, that was just all adrenaline, and like, looking back, I'm just so proud that we played as a team, and I'm just so excited. I'd like to work with Coach Grabfire. Um, it's honestly an honor. I'm so glad that her last season's our last season. Every game we're playing for not only ourselves but for Margie too, which makes this work even harder and it's just making this season even more special. And hey, what's it been like playing with this group all year? 
It's just, it's been so special because there's eight seniors and we're all super close and like our starting lineup is all seniors which has really pushed us this far and this is just a really close knit group. That's terrific and um, did you ever think that you would be uh, undefeated right now? I agree. Um, we be we believed it, but you know it's an extra special feeling After, actually yeah. having it come to life. You know, it's just you go into every game just wanting to play your best, and that's what we've been doing. We're playing as a team. We played some really good competitors, but we've just been working as hard as we possibly can, and I think that's showing in the way we play. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. All right. Well, hopefully you can go out and get that last win. Congratulations. Thank you. It's time to tell you about some upcoming events you should know about happening in town. On Saturday, November 20th, the Hopkinton Country Club Charitable Foundation presents a Roaring Twenties Evening Gala. For more information, head over to our website, hcam.tv. Sponsor of Family for Thanksgiving, brought to you by Project Just Because. For more information, head over to Project Just Because dot org slash thanksgiving and help local families in need our picture of the week is the hopkinton scouts with the american legion post 202 adjutant mike whalen following the 2021 veterans day services it was a great ceremony and you can check it out on hcam.tv as well as our youtube page youtube.com slash hcamtv Upcoming government meetings include on Monday, November 22nd at 7 p.m. The Zoning Advisory Committee will have it live on HCAM. For all upcoming town government meetings, head over to www.hopkintonma.gov. Believe it or not, we are out of time for this edition of HCAM News, but don't worry, next Thursday at 6.30 p.m. we'll be back. For everyone at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.